Hi everyone, hope everyone's all right. What a change a week makes. Beautiful, sunny, nice, warm day. My greenhouse is too hot this week, whereas last week we were seeking isolation in here. Anyway, I hope everyone's safe and healthy and all is good. I thought very quickly I'd show how to maximum 10, 15 minutes to plant two different types of courgettes, Romanesco and Tuscanis, how to plant some delicious sweet corn, honeydew, my children's favourite, and some butternut squashes. The whole process, I say, won't take more than 10, 15 minutes. This video will show you in two to five minutes because I've pre-prepped some of it. So, like last time, you can do this either in wooden boxes, you can do this in seed trays, you can do it in individual little pots, especially the butternut squashes, and the courgettes and or for those as well you could do it in plastic beakers you just need to make sure there's a hole in the bottom because um, they're individually planted hole in the bottom for the water to drain out i've got quite a few wooden boxes so therefore it's continuing on that you need good compost multi-purpose compost hopefully with john finnis and i've prepped up some of the others so you don't seeing me tipping compost over the floor and into the boxes. So, we then flatten the compost out and individually, I say that courgettes produce huge amounts of large crop. So, this is a packet, I think, of 10 seeds. I'm only going to plant six, which will produce a hell of a lot of courgettes. Tip the seeds. One, two, three, four, five. I don't want all those. So I'm only going to plant six of them. And I would put them, I put them in my box like this, in a tray. One, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four, five. I so want six. So spread them out so I've got six. There we go. They are the Romanescos. Put a label there so I know which ones they're going to be of course the label doesn't want to stay and then get the other ones out Tuscanis then there'll be way too many in here you'll plant six but that'll produce a good number of courgettes and also in planting six there's a high chance one might not germinate so you might only end or even two so you might only end up with four or five plants, which is why it's always worth one, two, three, four, five, six, slightly over planting, because you're doing these individually. If you were doing them in a plastic beaker, you would just put one per beaker. Same if you were doing them in little pots. Let's put the label by them so we know what we're doing. The butternut squashes are exactly the same. There are These are delicious, really good for you. And I think there are these five to 10 in here which I'll plant the whole lot and maybe they've given me a bonus and there's more but we'll plant one two I'm not going to bore you with too much of this three there are more in here so they've given me a bonus lucky us we've got some delicious squashes so these I say can be individually done in pots and this is a, we've got a huge amount of butternut squashes. We, these, the great thing about butternut squashes is you pick them in September time and they store all winter. Um, we finished our last one, we plant three different types, and we finished our last one this week on Wednesday. So it shows how long they've lasted us for well over six months. So the technique is the same on all of them. That's the courgettes, that's the butternut squashes, just so I don't get confused, put the label in for them. Um, these are what I did earlier, exactly the same. These are Mars 2 sugar snaps, put them in my bowl individually. Here I've done rows of 12, six rows of 12, 72 plants. Here, sweet corns, I've done exactly the same individually. These you could definitely still do in individual pots. These are slightly better in seed trays, but you can do them in individual pots. The technique with all of them is the same. You then press them in, which I'll show you on this one. Press them in, just about an inch. Oh, it's got a lump on it. 
So it, I will after do exactly the same, mine's too slightly less probably, fingernail in, um, and that those the same an inch. So I, you do exactly the same with all of them. You put, then firm it down, so the soil's firmly on it. It is essential this soil is kept moist. So I would water it now once, quickly, like that, and then depending on what the weather's doing, keep an eye that it's moist each day. So there, very simply, it'll take me another five minutes to push all those down and you've got delicious crops. I'll keep these because if they don't work out the courgettes, I can always sow more. The great thing with sowing seeds is to separate out the sowing. So do sowing if you want to have continuous crop all summer, especially with the mulch too. I planted one box now, I'll probably plant another box in two weeks time and another box two or three weeks after that. Then you've got them all summer in your garden. For those that saw the early videos last week of what we planted, you may remember we did lettuces, which I said would germinate within a week. Well, there you are. The lettuces are already coming out. Those are the little gems. These are the webs. Wonderful. You remember I put the mange to and the um, broad beans under glass to try and force them because I said otherwise they could take two to three weeks to germinate. This speeds it up. You look under here already after one week, they're starting to come. I will probably leave them another four or five days under glass, wait till it all comes out and then I'll take that off so they can continue growing normally. And lastly, we did the chitting of the potatoes to get the eyes to all develop. You'll see they've been nicely in the sun. Look, they're all chitting nicely. They, in about a week's time, we'll be able to plant them in the ground, which is why next week we will be, I can, and also with the ground warming up, hopefully by next week, it should be perfect. And we'll be planting carrots, we'll be doing beetroot, we can be putting the potatoes in the ground, and I can show you in a very quick step how to do all that. Anyway, I hope this has been useful. Have a safe and healthy week. Thank you.